Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to drop a pin on Google Maps both on a mobile device and on desktop. And stick around as a bonus tip, I'll show you how to measure distance on Google Maps by dropping pins wherever you want. So first on a mobile device to drop a pin, it's really easy. You just hold your thumb down. I'm in Dubai right here. You can hold your thumb down anywhere you want. It can be an actual landmark or street or just in the middle of a desert. Doesn't matter. So I've dropped a pin right there. And some things I can do from that option are I can share, I can save that pin. So if I want to remember where I am, go back there at a future date, I can get directions to it and just click save. I can um, add that as a missing place. So if there's a new park or building in a, a neighborhood and you know it's not on the map, you can just add it in as a map. And then you can also measure the distance, like I mentioned um, from a pin. So you just drag the map and you can put it to different places. So if you want to know between one city and another, you can do that. And to uh, add multiple points on the distance, you click the plus button down at the bottom. That's 27 miles. Or you can click add a point and then you can drag to another point. Click the plus button again, add there. So I've gone 81 miles in a zigzag route. Um, so that's how you add a pin on Google Maps on an Android. Hopping over to desktop here, it's a little different. They used to be able to just right click on a desktop and click add pin. Uh, Google's changed it up a bit. So you can, you can click what's here on that and that'll show you what's there. And there's a street view option usually. So if I click on something like this, what's here and it's a populated area, I can go down to the bottom. Uh, I can click at this street view. This looks really interesting. Never been to Dubai, but I can explore it right here on Google Maps. Um, and then to add in another pin, I can right click. I can go back. I'm just going to go to a. Uh, I'm just going to go to Google Maps to Dubai. Open in Maps to show you the full menu of options. So you can right click, and these are all the the options directions from here to here what's here, you can search nearby, you can add a missing place or the business. Um, so let's say we want to have directions to here. You can see that a red pin just dropped in there. So you can, you can grab this line, you can move it around the route if you want, just holding your mouse down. Or you can right click, um, you can click on another thing to drop a pin. Uh, dropping a pin if it's already existing is just by clicking on it the normal way. But if you click in the desert and there's nothing there, you have to right click and click um, what's here. And then you can add a, a destination right there. So you just right click, add a destination, um, and that's how you do it. So to measure distance on Google Maps on a desktop, you can right click on the location where you want to go. Um, and measure, click measure distance. So that'll put a point on the map. Um, and then you can just click on another point. So if you want to see the distance between these two buildings, I just did that. You clicked on a point, it says distance 11.91 miles right at the bottom. So if you're thinking about walking um, from this point to this point and you want to know the distance, it's 11 miles. But that route is through water, so you'd probably be swimming on there, which makes it a little bit tricky. Um, so you might want to click um, different points on the map, like this. You can click along a route as many times as you want and get actual directions there. So that's a little bit how you do it. Um, it's kind of fun. You can, if you're one of those super fit people running a hundred mile race and you're going across a mountain range. You can click all the points on the map, measure your 100 miles, chart out your course. That's how you do it. So I showed you how to add a point, drop a pin on Google Maps on an Android phone, also on desktop here. Hope that video was helpful for you. Subscribe to our channel and give us a like, and we'll see you again soon.